Hi, oh, Adam and Josh, Hi-o. you got broken heads. Back for another exciting edition of the 80s top 10 movies 80s, of all 80s, time. 80s, 80s. We love the 80s, the 80s. I'll tell you what, the 80s has certainly, and we're getting a lot of comments and feedback. I think people love the 80s all over, from the music to the movies. And then this week, it is comedy, 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 comedy. And I'll tell you what, this was freaking hard, huh? And not only that, this is where, you know, this is this, our whole show is comedy. So, of course, we're yeah. going to have a love for 80s comedy. And that's yeah. why it's so hard, because there's so many to choose from. There so are. We got, the, we got the top 10. We got the honorable mention, which in some yeah. respects is another top 10. But they are yeah. separate. And just to, so, so you guys know the rules of the game. So to determine what genre we use, yes, the movie, yes. we type the movie into Google. And then Google brings it up and it's got it to the category. And most of them are in a, they're in a, a category and a subcategory. For it to be a comedy, it has to be the, the first, it has to be the first thing you see. So it'd be comedy slash action or comedy slash horror, whatever. So it has to be comedy. If it's anything but comedy, it's out. Another and category. I'll be straight up with you. So like Breakfast Club is not a comedy, gone. That is going to be a drama. And the one that I had on my list until very short a short time ago, the Blues Brothers. Out. Oh, wait, wait a minute. A musical slash comedy. Is so, that even? Is that 1980? 1980. I got. I got. I had two Shit. on the list that, that were on the cusp at 1980. So the Blues That's Brothers a musical. How funny is a is musical, How funny. and we're not doing a musical. So the Blues the Blues Brothers will not be on a list. You'll never see that movie in Josh's top ten. <laughs> no, you will not. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get so, right away. Yeah. Without we're further ado, we're gonna do a one for one like we did last time. That's right. And we're going to start. Now, would you like to go first or should I? I I'm fine either Aren't way. Don't you? I went first last time. When are you going to start this time? I'm going to go with the number one, my my number one Woody Allen film of the 80s. One of the Steiner classics. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this movie. Broadway, Danny Rose. Danny Rose. And I knew this was coming up because when I saw, now the thing is, there are two Woody Allen movies that are comedies that are right around the same time. And let me ask you this. I assume no, but did they both make your list? Well, you know, the other ones take the money and run. And I feel like that was in the 70s. Nope. And so um, that's it. But Broadway Danny Rose was the, was the crowd favorite um, out of the two anyway. And yeah, take the money and run was from 1969. That would be the only other one I would even put in a top 10. So because this was in the 80s, Broadway Danny Rose goes in the top 10 all day. So let me tell you, there was another one too that popped up, and I saw there were two, like I said. So I was I was surprised um, that that showed up in the eighties, and one was Broadway, Danny Rose, in the and 80s. the other was let me see, Purple Rose of Cairo. I never even heard of that. You haven't heard of Purple Rose of Cairo? All right, what about no. uh, a mid? So here here are his eighties movies: Stardust it's Memories. Not. A Midsummer's Night during a, a Midsummer's Night sex comedy, Z League or Zelig, Broadway Danny Rose, Purple Rose of Cairo, Hannah and Her Sisters, Radio no. Days, September, nope. Another Woman, New York None Stories, Prime Mystery Meters. Fucking Jesus Christ! Enough, dude. Like, stop talking the whole friggin' decade. What a <laughs> okay. I know, right? This was the top choice. Um, an- another Mia Farrow was in this one as well. She was very good in it, believe it or not. Back when they still loved each other. Broadway Danny Rose. It's a it's a, a comedy with the mob. I mean, it's laughs, it's it's laughs galore, man. It, it's just so funny. It's in black and white, it takes place in New York City, of course, where pretty much all his movies take place. That's where he's from. And yep. uh again, I saw it when I was a kid, and just we grew up with it, and it's it stood the test of time. It can be put on any time. I have it on DVD. Wow. Okay. So well, that says official. something. That says something. So all right, my okay. all right, young man. What is your what is your uh, what, so what is one of I your felt picks? that I had to go with a John Cusack movie because that was his decade from One Crazy Summer. Um, uh, he was a little bit obviously in, in Sixteen Candles, but I'm gonna go with one that I that I that I think was iconic, and there are a lot of lines from you. Know, Where's my two dollars? Christmas, and that is Better Off Dead. That's a good, that's a really good movie. It's definitely in the conversation um, for me. 
it didn't make my honorable mention, but it's a movie I can put on from time to time, watch it with no qualms sure. and, and enjoy it. Yep. Great yep. choice. Great Thank choice. you, sir. Thank you. Now I'm going to go with a movie that's probably going to get some resistance, resistance from you, but it's another Steiner. Cl- there's, there's quite a few Steiner classics on my list. Okay. The Steiner Jason classic. Takes Manhattan. <laughs> Jason takes Broadway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jason that's takes Broadway, Danny Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now the Steiner classics, just a quick background, are movies that my parents uh, put us onto that I, we watched with my. They parents forced you. In some Come on, respect, family, sit down. We're having a family day today, and you're watching this movie. In some respect, um, these movies, you know, we grew up with, and we loved them right out of the gate. I don't know what it was, right? You think parents, kids, you don't know what I'd like, you know. I don't remember all the specifics, but we ended up we loved them. And again, these movies are on the list because they stand the test of time. I could pop these movies on any day and watch them. And that movie is Married to the Mob with Michelle Pfeiffer, Alec Baldwin, Matthew Modine, Dean, what's his name? Damn it. And the movie is just unbelievable. Another mob movie, another comedy mafia movie, but totally different story. It does take place in New Jersey. Uh, I believe it takes place in New Jersey. <laughs> but you, you're familiar with it a little bit, but I, this is one of my favorites. I'm Hands familiar up. with I want to do and that's about <laughs> it. That's, that's, that's okay. About it. At least I, you know yeah. that. I, I I love you just for that. Well, yeah. I'm I'm uh, all right. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Hey, listen. These are our list. You can put whatever you, know what, you want on it. You know what we need to do if we ever get together again, we should pop on one of each of our like top tens and make the other person watch it. And then let, let's see like how, if the other person, I really will say it. married to the mob probably garners your highest rotten tomatoes. Uh, Mark, it got it 89%. That's pretty fuck. Very high for you. You've been trending down in the fifties and sixties. So yes, I like the sleepers. And at least, you know, at least you know that it's got, uh, you know, it's accredited uh, by the world. So very okay, good one. I'm going to come back at you. Hi, with a movie that is more, you know, um, I associate it with Thanksgiving. Um, but as I looked at it and dove into it, um, and the fact that it says comedy first, um, and, and, and it's, 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 you know, it's a John Hughes. Again, when you think of the eighties, there are some directors that you think of John Hughes as one of them, right? That's where he did his business. The best. Um, I am going to go with Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with my good friend John Candy and Steve Martin, two of the best in the business, and they pulled out all the stops on this, no pun there, but if, I like I, this was a funny movie. I saw it at the Ioka Movie Theater in Exeter. Um, the scene where Steve Martin goes fucking ballistic on the woman at the counter of the rental car. She's the that big was, hair from... Yeah, that was from probably Fred, like the I mean, scene. from, uh, yeah, Fred... But anyways, yeah, this is a funny ass movie from beginning to end. Loved it. Now let me ask you, can you pop that on right now and watch that movie? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I want to try to revisit that movie based on one other movie later at the end, if I can remember, to see where they rank this or that. Okay. Yeah. I've seen that movie and you know, I've seen the jerk and I've seen a few other Steve Martin. I never thought Steve Martin was that funny to me. John Candy has a different story. And I don't think that's one of John Candy's best movies to get in the top. No, 10. but the, those two together, I think that's where it was. You special. really like that dynamic? That, the, that dynamic with those two characters. Well, listen, I see your trains, planes, and automobiles, and I raise you with Uncle Buck as my next choice. There you go. <laughs> good, How do you good, feel very about good that? Call. <laughs> Uncle Buck resides in my honorable mention, to be honest with you. I mean, Whoa! well, ah! listen. There are so, and again, you look at the 80s, right? You see John Hughes, and you look at some of the people that just knocked it out of the park, and John Candy had a handful of movies that were just great. And Uncle Buck is right out there, no question. Oh, I mean, at he, least it's he, an honorable mention. I, I, yeah, I'll give you no, that. and again, this was hard. This was yes. real hard. With horror, I only had like three or four honorable mentions. I like, like you said, I can have an honorable mention top 10 that could yeah. slide in to yeah. my regular top 10 if it needed to. At any given day, exactly. And Uncle Buck, again, all the one-liners. Oh, um, just never and, and gets John old. Candy, uh, little, um, God, it wasn't, uh, that was Macaulay Culkin's brother that, that starred in that as the uh, as a little one. But yeah, man. Uh, they were both in it, 
actually. Were they? Yes. Macaulay Culkin was the actual son. And I believe his, you know what? His brother was not, his brother, I think they're both were in Home Alone. Am I mixing up his brother for another one? I think they both were in Home Alone, but Macaulay Culkin was the actual son. No, no, no. They were not in Home Alone. They're, um... Oh, well, right. He drank the soda. He was the one who drank the soda. That was his brother, right? He was very, yes. Yes. But he Macaulay had a very was, small role. Yes, very um, small. Let's but see, Macaulay Clark, was the main character. 89. That's my movie. Another Steiner classic uh, I would like to mention as well. John I have Hughes, many Steiner again. classics. And John Hughes. I mean, you know, he, he, was, he was the egg, egg on top of his game. That, era. that was his era. That was his decade for movies. Absolutely. Uncle Buck, for me, Let's go to you. What do you got? All right, right back. You hit it to me. I'm gonna come back with you with a real with a with a barn burner right down, smacking right down. And it's Michael Keaton, Beetlejuice. Bum 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 bum. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, what are your thoughts? You seem a little bit hesitant there. Let me. Uh, I mean, I do have a Michael Keaton movie on my top ten. Mr. It's Mom. not. Be- it's not Beetlejuice. <laughs> now, so let me explain. I really never saw Beetlejuice growing up. Now, my wife loves Beetlejuice. So she's you had that on. to have missed so many movies. Your wife's going to hate me. Just in advance, as you recall, I said I yes, did not you, watch Beetlejuice. She was really disappointed. <laughs> really disappointed in you. I was too busy with my other top 10. What am I going to do? I was too busy with my horror slash of films. I made this top 10 when I was 12. I took a picture I put on my wall. <laughs> but... You know, so I, I kind of watched it through her, although at the same time, I just... So have you seen this movie from beginning to end? No. You've not seen Beetlejuice from beginning to end? Only the Beetlejuice on Howard Stern, which he, I love him. He, no, he no, no my top stop 10. it. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop <laughs> it. You're embarrassing yourself. Beetle, Beetlejuice is a, is a legend. Not the movie. Uh, the, don't, the even, don't even morph that into this. This is Beetlejuice, the movie. <laughs> Baldwin, Gina Davis... This is comedy gold, folks. And I don't want to give you... Okay, that's great. All right, move on. Next, what do you got? We're going to go with uh, uh, an Eddie Murphy classic, Trading Places. Trading Places. Son of a bitch. You always get to steal one from my list. Yeah, I should have gone with like Beverly Hills Cop. But actually, wait, yeah. And that's Beverly an Hills Cop, we can't because it is an action slash comedy. And yep. just, to, just for the record, I watched Beverly Hills Cop the other night. Thank you. Did you? Do you own it or did you just watch it on? I do own it and it was on HBO, but I didn't want to get the DVD out. It was like, oh, okay. Well, you know, you know. Yeah, you got it. If you've got it on HBO, then what the hell? Yeah, yeah great exactly. trading places, iconic movie, funny as hell. All so right. you did it. You, you did it again. Adam strikes again. And he pulls one of my top 10 movies off my list, which makes my list go from 10 to 9. And another, another Steiner classic. I got many of them on the top a 10. I, I, I'd assume all 10 of these would be Steiner classics if they're, they're not. In the top they're, 10. they're not, but about, you know, half of them are. Okay. All so, right. All right. Okay. Well, good. I'm going to come back now. What do you got? Um, Yo, beat that. <laughs> I'm going to hit you up with, I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go right with, right with the gusto. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Wow. Uh, great call. Is that on your list? You know what? I, I got to add, not on my top 10. Wow. But you know what? You know, I had a real tough time. I was referencing lists, referencing my memory, and I still forgot about a couple. And it was really pissing me off. Did you forget about Ferris Bueller's Day Off? For real? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, wow. I did. I don't want to have to admit that on live on the air. And now you did. Now everybody knows. Now yes. you're probably going to tell everybody you still haven't seen that either. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's definitely like, speaking of which, Jesus Christ, hold on. We got a problem here. Hold on. Please, Lord. Okay. Oh my God. Did we did we did we add Teen Wolf to the horror list? No. The original Teen Wolf cannot be on this is a horror. Hold on. This is no way. This is not, this is not possible. What are you doing? Oh my God. No. All right. I, you know what? Like I said, I've been missing movies. I've been referencing lists, and I'm still I'm still forgetting some, and it's pissing me off. So the Teen Wolf is that listed as a comedy? It's listed as a comedy. It is comedy fantasy. Yep. I fucked up on that one too. All right. Great call, Ferris Bueller. Definitely a classic. Doesn't make my top ten, but it's definitely any day of the week I could put that on. Almost. Okay. Almost. 
Gotcha. Okay. Now, moving right along. We're going to go with moving with Richard Pryor. Are you familiar with this yeah, movie? Yeah, I'm familiar. This movie is... Top Doesn't top. come with the house. <laughs> we're taking it with us. Yeah, we're taking it with us. Let me tell you why the movie's so funny. The guy's name in the movie is Arlo Pear. Are you going to tell me that's not funny? <laughs> Arlo To Pear. make my top 10 list? No. So listen, you're going to tell me that moving is not a movie you could pop on at a random time and enjoy. No, and I've had plenty of opportunity. And I've seen it. It's a movie I, that I can see once or twice. And I have seen it once or twice. And I'm happy with that. You got Dennis, you got, you got uh, the, the Quaid brother in there. Uh, not Dennis Quaid. What's his brother? I, I can't. Randy. I'm not blank. Yeah. You Crazy got Randy, Randy Quaid. Quaid in there. You got uh, Stacy Dash. You got Richard. Um, you got the, the the two moving guys. Those are those two, those guys are hilarious. The cast is great. It's a great story. They make a song about moving to Wisconsin while they're eating dinner because he got a job offer. And I, it's just uh, Dana Carvey. I mean, are you kidding me? All right, goodbye. I'm, I'm appalled yeah, no, okay. that that doesn't even make right, it. Good. That sounds movie. awesome. Okay, up oh, next for me, <laughs> uh, one of the most endured loving comedies of all time. A loving comedy? No and it just happens to be in the 80s, and that would be Caddyshack. I knew that would be on your list. I knew it. It's it on is. my list because it's one of the funniest movies with an ensemble cast that knows how to make people laugh. It definitely has a great cast. Let me ask you this. Have you seen it? Because my gut says you haven't. Not in its entirety. I Not never could entirety. get it. I you never, seen it. For some reason, I never could get into it. I tried. I've tried. You've never gotten into it. I know that sounds really bad considering it's definitely a top 10 80s comedy. I know it this. Is without I know question. This. Please love me for who I am and not what I am. You make me sick. <laughs> you, make me sick. you put moving, but oh. you don't even have freaking Caddyshack anywhere. Yeah, because I've never really seen it. So how can I put it on my top 10? Because you should see it. If you enjoy the 80s, I would think you would see those movies that are listed as iconic. I love Ronnie Dangerfield. He would be my favorite in the movie. Chevy Chase. I, you know, Bill I, Murray. I I've watched many Chevy Chase movies, and some of his movies are not that great. Yeah, this one is great. All right. Well, I know it is. I just, I slept no, on it. No, but you don't know because you haven't seen it. So let's move on before you make a, a bigger jackass out of yourself. <laughs> Rotted Tomatoes says it's good. That's good yeah. enough for me. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Let's go with another Chevy Chase movie for my top 10. We're going to go with Funny Farm. Funny Farm. It's called Funny Farm. Yeah, Funny. but you picked the wrong movie in your top 10. Oh, don't, you have, think that, don't think Chevy's you another, one and done. Don't think okay. Chevy's one and done. Well, he's taking up 20% of your list. Where do you Mr. rank Chase. Funny Farm? Where do you rank Funny Farm? So I've got it down as an honorable mention. Thank you. That's all I can ask. That's all I can ask. I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Thank you. It's a, it's a fabulous movie. Extremely yes. funny. I've watched it many, many times. I I'll love the mailman. Yeah. <laughs> I love when he goes, cue the deer. Yeah. <laughs> <With the tricep. laughs> and they come run out. I love when he first goes fishing. You know, he's out yeah, there. With he the hooks the guy. The, guy. the fucking <laughs> snake. No, no, no. That was later on. When he goes to his pond. Remember he's out fishing. He's in his pond. And he freaking hooks this giant black snake. He's like, Oh, oh yeah, it's like all waving around. Yeah. yeah, but when he goes out in the boat and hooks the guy's juggler van and stuff, they make make him they make him swim back. Yeah, that was so funny. I love the yeah, dog. I love when they stuff. buy the dog, and they're like, "All right, yes. boy, come on, run!" And the it dog runs off. away. Yo, that is hysterical. <laughs> I forget. And then the, the other dog that get ends up digging up bones and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, old... Knock it out because he's got the fucking he got like the, the skeleton bone in his arm, and they're trying to show the house. And then they get an invoice for like four grand. Yeah, because... <laughs> to bury the guy. No, good stuff. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to come right back at you with Europeans. Vac I mean, not being, with just vacation. Just the first vacation. How, what's the what's the full title of that movie? I think it's um, National you, Lampoon's it, Vacation. I don't want to hear you think. It's National Lampoon's Vacation. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent choice. On my top 10 as well. There really needs no explanation. Uh, no. I mean, the National Lampoon's franchise. Thank you, is, Audrey. <laughs> it spawned many movies, but I got to say, that's probably my favorite out of all of them. I, it beats Animal House for me. I don't know about you. I know that was it the does. 70s. It does. I believe that was the 70s. Yeah, but, well, those 70, yeah I, checked, I checked because that would have made my list. Animal House would have made the list. 
would it okay yeah yeah i mean again iconic it's just but, but again it doesn't matter it's not in it uh vacation uh fucking funny ass movie i mean it's just it's a it's a roller coaster it's nonstop yeah. with like humor from start from start to finish right there we're five minutes five hours from the fucking fun park and you want to go home <laughs> i mean there's so many lines in that movie as I, I there are quoted a few ourselves yes we have uh, many yes, we times have. over the years so i will i will not include that in the rest of my list so let's move on we're gonna go with definitely without question one of the top movies comedies of the 80s with adventures in babysitting okay <laughs> i'll tell you that didn't even make my honorable mention list that's that's really embarrassing for you the movie that makes is, your top 10 list the movie is amazing it's adventure comedy it, it's non-stop it's another non-stop whoa, 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 whoa. is it adventure comedy or is it comedy adventure it is comedy i'm just saying that they do so many adventures you know from the highway yeah. to the flat tire to the, to yeah. the chop shop to the i mean it, it's non-stop i can't believe it didn't make it I, I'm, I'm ashamed of you I'm gonna and be ashamed of you because well. I'm gonna be ashamed of you when I when I when I say this next one and it if it's not on your list and your it should be on <laughs> your top ten. But I, because I, when, when you think of comedies in the '80s, this movie should always come to the forefront. And that is Sixteen Candles. Not on my top ten. Or not even your top ten. Is it on? Uh, that's exact. Thank you very much. I think the people now realize what I'm dealing with here. Let me tell you though, I've seen that movie many, many times. Yeah, I I enjoy it. I like it, but if I had to, if I had to narrow down a top ten eighties comedy list, I don't have room for that. Now, I guess maybe it maybe it deserves an honorable mention, but you know what? Like I said, I was getting lost in the shuffle. Movies were coming and going. I was losing track. I I didn't put it as an honorable mention, but I could watch that movie. Candles oh. not even on your list. I could watch Oops. it pretty much whenever. Case closed. I could watch it pretty much whenever. It's Look not what a, I'm dealing with here, people. It's no Caddyshack, okay? <laughs> All right. Moving right along. Why don't we get to another very, very funny 80s comedy. One of my favorites. Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's. Okay. No, that's 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 a good movie. Definitely worthwhile. I'm Is it still in shocked you haven't mention? seen 16 Candles. Is it in your honorable your mention? Weekend at Bernie's? No, there's too much. But, the honorable mention, but, there's but no I'll limit. Be with you, Weekend at Bernie's is probably one of those that I could slide in and take off because I've got a couple of John Candy movies here. I could easily take out like Summer Rental and put Weekend at Bernie's. Ooh, really? That that's yeah. a really good this or that. Um, yeah, sandwich. but see, I don't. I I had Uncle Bucket in in my you know uh, honorable mention too. I so this is Uncle Buck would stay Jesus over, Christ. you know, over right, um, fine. Summer Whatever. Rental. Whatever. Plus, Weekend he had great Bernie's. outdoors too. Yep. I, oh, there's too many. There's too I know. Many. So I'm saying it is a very difficult um, list for because again, there's just so many iconic comedies, so many there of them. Are. You know. All right. All right. All right. That was a good Number call. I mean, we can have Bernie's very good, uh, funny Thank movie. Thank Definitely you. Uh, deserves to be in there. Thank you. At least you give me that. You yeah. son of a. I'm gonna have All another right. one that you don't. I'm gonna have another one that I that I'm just gonna bet now that you've not seen. I hope I can prove you wrong. Go ahead. And you won't, because I know who you are. <laughs> you have not seen. Speaking of Jamie Lee Curtis, a fish called Wanda. Not really. No. Thank you once again. I you no. I you missed these. These are Jamie Lee Curtis. Like I know she's with in the If you look, and I'm sure I have done it, but if you look up the top ten comedies of the '80s, like. Put together by people with much better minds than what we have a fish called wanda is always gonna be there it is a funny funny god me, darn movie i did start watching that at one point but i didn't get through it i did listen to the soundtrack however i'm sorry it's a 95 percent on rotten tomatoes pal i'm sorry i was looking at teen wolf 42 percent rotten tomatoes but get out of here how dare you okay all right i never seen it well oh and and, and i said you had not seen it before <laughs> i said it you're right. I knew you, and I was right. You're Thank right. You. Well, I guess you know me better than someone else. Apparently. Does. Uh, apparently. Let's round out the top ten with my last, and certainly, certainly not least, Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. Michael Keaton and good old... Um, if, if that's not Gar, in Perry your, Gar. If that's at least not in your honorable mention, 
I, I, I just don't know what to say. No, I'll, I'll be, just stop it quick. It, it, honorable mention, definitely. Okay, thank you. I mean, yeah. come on, you know, that movie is just timeless. It'll never, yeah. that, that, that movie will never not be good. Because at no, this point, agreed. if we're still watching it, it's you already know. Yep. That rounds okay. out my top 10. Where are you after your last choice for the top 10? My last choice in probably one you haven't seen either. Um, but it is a very funny movie, and it's called Heathers. Christian Slater, um, our good uh, Winona Riders in this. You know what? You know what? Oh, I see you only go with 90 plus on Rotten Tomatoes. That's no, it's funny because I don't top. even look at this until I start <laughs> looking them up. It, and it's interesting that I keep on hitting them out of the park. And I think you'll agree as we started diving into Rotten Tomatoes last week that Rotten Tomatoes makes some sense when their stuff is up there. I'm not there using them. I'm not using them as my sole guide. You just know that. And I don't think you uh-huh. are either. I'm not However, either. I have a list. I have a list that's here. And as I read them and I go up and I go, well, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, Josh. Again, 80 plus, 90 plus, 90 plus. So you're a sheep. I need to be a movie critic. Move over you're, Leonard Malton. But you're going to say the same thing everyone else said. So how, what kind of critic is that? You're not, they you're say not that because it's, it stood the test of time and is still funny. It is written well. It is directed well. It is acted well. I This looks like a movie I could potentially watch. So thank you for bringing this to my attention. And no, I'm I have glad. not seen it. I am yes. very, very happy. I would like to add this to my viewing pleasure at some point. If I see this ever like online or whatever, I'm gonna yep. I'm gonna give Good. it a shot. Thank you for Good. this. Let's head out to our um, honorable mention list and uh, and see what we got. Let's go let's ahead. run through them each and then we'll we'll break we'll talk or whatever and then we'll wrap up. All okay. right, you want me, you right. want me to go, go first? Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna run through them. Save all commentary until the end. And I want to hear from you. I throw up. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's just an involuntary gag reflex. Okay, here we go. Weird science. Coming to America. See no evil, hear no evil. Can't buy me love. The heavenly kid. Three o'clock high. Revenge of the nerds. Summer rental. Making the grade. Ferris Bueller's and Teen Wolf. You really had a top 10. Yes, there's many. I I probably could squeeze a couple more. I just can't can't like remember them all find them okay now tell me out of this that that honorable mentioned list what is what your one go-to movie on that list well say it again weird science coming to america that's good no, is that your weird number science. one no coming to america no here no evil see no evil do you know that movie that's richard Pryor and uh and gene wilder yes yes, yes. yes. uh can't buy me love with patrick dempsey the heavenly oh, top 10 Okay, but no, I just want to know, like, what's your number one go-to movie out of this list? Can't Buy Me Love, The Heavenly Kid, Three O'Clock High, Revenge of the Nerds, Summer Rental, Making the Great, Ferris, and Teen Wolf. So it's between Ferris, cool, because again, Ferris is on my top ten, so you want uh, to take point. that out. Let's not exclude, yeah, exclude um, So that it's going to be between uh, Summer Rental, what was the first one? Weird Science. Summer Rental, Weird Science, and then Teen Wolf is, is probably what I'd boil it down to oh wow no no coming to america no you know what you hate no, no, the second one. Good. you don't like the first one who are you again it's another movie with you know who in it and you don't like it i'm starting to see a theme uh, and he was still good back in those days he was a funny guy but uh, we know we, we know we got another top 10 with one of them on there so let's not we won't even go there yet okay go ahead with your honorable mentions i hope you All like right. my honorable mention list i overall. did and i share some so uh stripes Weird Science, it. Uncle Buck, <sighs> Summer Rental, Great Outdoors, Revenge of the Nerds, Police Academy. That's it? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. I didn't want to go and do two lists. I, I couldn't help I had it. To call, it was so hard to call this down. It wasn't easy. I, I know. I couldn't. I, my top ten was really hard to whittle down. Yes, it so was. I was like, I got to just add these it, extra. And oh, and the burb. It's a good one. I mean, they're all good. The burbs. These, those are yep. all good for me. Oh, airplane. Was that eighty or like eighty two? Yeah. yeah. Well, so um, what do we think? Uh, action adventure next week. I want to save the worst for last: drama and sci-fi. Well, okay. so I think those need to be two separate lists. 
I can combine them because I don't have a top 10 for either you will. one. I bet you will more than you think. So I, um, but action, action next adventure week. is the next we'll do. And then we'll do um, I'm looking sci-fi and then we'll do drama. We are following a strict routine that you enter the movie into Google search. It brings up the movie and it will list it as a, the genre and subcategory. It has to be the exact first thing you see. So like Very I said, um, the Blues Brothers which would have made my comedy list, was listed as musical first, then comedy. So that means it's not in the comedy. Get them out of here. Hey, Good day John, to you. So, so there's a lot. Keep that in mind as we make these and formulate these lists. Uh, we're going through Google and making sure that it falls in that exact same genre. Oh, my God. You see, here we go. I miss one. I what? miss one for my top 10. You see? You Today? see? Please, I, I, this is after the fact. I have to include this in. I, I feel horrible. What made I you forgot. think about this right now? Did you just remember it? The Blues Brothers, John Belushi, because he's in this movie. 1981, Neighbors. I can't believe I, I missed this. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I, and if I, if I can include that and take out one. Oh, God. Of your honorable mention, it can't be top 10. I have to take it out of my, I have to put it in my top 10. I gotta swap one out. I can't leave this one out. Out of it's, your top ten, you're gonna put neighbors I, in as your top ten. Absolutely, it's it's almost a Steiner classic. What are you gonna take out? I'm gonna have to take out. Uh -huh. I don't know what to take out. It was so hard. All right, you know what? For another episode, we'll deal with it. I'm just I'm terribly sorry, John and Dan, and everyone else. I I should have included you in my top. Everyone else from Second City who made that movie. I Shame apologize. On I hope you like the movie as well. If you don't, I will never do another show with you again. It gets a meh. And Our here top. we are. Like, we really love our each other's sort of styles. Mean, comedy, there are just yeah. too many movies you haven't even seen that are in my list. Well, that's true. I get Talk it. Talk about my heart being broken. Okay. Okay. Well, did you ever say, I hope I've you watch this? It. Yeah, but here's the difference. You said, I bet this isn't in your list. I said, I hope you watch this movie. Do you see the difference? The problem is when I said it wasn't in your list, I was right. But what does that, what does that prove to you? Nothing. It, it doesn't help to you. me. No, it doesn't help. You, sir, are a moron. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, there you have it. Top 10 80s comedy of 1980s all time. 1980s comedies. Come back and we'll eat some bees. Look under my sweater and touch some of these. Oh, yeah, it's 1980s comedies. I yeah. just thought... Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show. And I hope you're looking forward to next week's show, which is going to be Action Adventure Top 10 1980s Movies. Um, please Ooh. comment. Let us know what you agree, what you disagree, how shocked you were about what movies Adam hasn't seen. Um, <laughs> and or if there's some that I didn't see or I didn't put in there. What is your What is your list? Name, name a couple that you would like. Please, we're, we're begging you. We're actually just asking you to interact with us. Please. This is a lot of work, guys. I, in it. fact, my wife was threatening a divorce because I spent so much time looking up movies this past week. You weren't supposed to tell them yeah. that. I, well, I'm just keep it separate. My devotion separate. to this channel is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm laying it on the line. We need your participation. Even if it's just go on there and comment and just go like, and type yeah. some keys and it doesn't yeah. make any sense. I don't care. Cool movie. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever you're referencing. Made cool me movie. laugh. Ha ha. You guys <laughs> are comedic gold. You yeah. should be out in Hollywood making movies. Something like that. And you to know, the you guy know. who said, and I believe the exact quote was, I hated The Breakfast Club. To the I, guy? I wanted to call that out real quick. Let me, let me, if I may. You're really cutting into time now. I, I know. I, and probably no one's going to make it this far. The comment was, hated Breakfast Club. Now, I don't know. Judge, this is your friend. What kind of friend of yours would hate a movie like that? A friend that Please. I love very much. And you Regale leave him alone, mister. Us. You leave him I alone. Wanna... Hey, we all have our own tastes. We all have our own thoughts. A I don't care. May, a movie may be loved by millions and hated by one. And if I... you are... If you've got the cojones to stand up on that box and say, I didn't like this movie in spite of the masses, God bless you, sir. I want his ass. You're not going to get I, his ass. He's I want him pal. on the show. I want to know why he didn't like that movie. I could spend an hour discussing this like, topic. Dressing him down? That's what, that's, is that all it would be? It was a dress down session? It would be a beat down session. A beat down session. Why well, wouldn't a allow you to do that? Because he's my pal. We're going to bring up every character. Carl, the janitor. He's my very bestest pal. We're going to bring up. 
Did we get the Olin? <laughs> Richard, we're gonna bring up. I I, I can't remember the name. Right, yeah, that's fine. Well, there you all go. Right, you said all your, right, guys. Said your piece. Thanks again. Tune in next week. Action-packed episode. Action, next no week. pun intended. Yeah, we'll be back. Stay we funny. Stay bye. broken. Stay safe. Stay broken. Peace. Bye, Menon. Um...